Welcome back to another episode of Comic Book Savant Video. This episode I'm going to be doing a quick review of the CW's Black Lightning series. Um, just have to start off by saying this has been um, a phenomenal series. It, it got a, garnered a lot of attention um, when the show first premiered um, earlier at the beginning of the year. I think it premiered in um, mid or early January. The show has continued to grow strong since its premiere. It kind of, I feel like um, it was getting a lot of good and positive press before Black Panther kind of came out and Black Panther became a phenomenon in itself and kind of overshadowed. And you haven't heard nearly as much about Black Lightning since Black Panther came out. And it's kind of unfortunate because um, all of the positive things that you saw in Black Panther is already being portrayed um, very much so in Black Lightning, and that's where it was getting rave reviews and a lot of press from. And again, Black Panther came in and kind of overshadowed it, and all the kind of spotlight and shine has gone there. And unfortunately, this, this show might be sliding under people's radar because of it just got overshadowed by the phenomenal movie. Nothing against Black Panther. It's a great movie. Love the movie, as you've seen from the review of the film that I did here. But I think it's kind of done a disservice to this great show on CW that's covering a lot of the same issues. This show is very topical. They take on a lot of current day um situations when it leads to racial tension things of that nature um political things they they deal with a lot of topical subjects on the show and they handle them extremely well um it's broken up from the other shows in the cw universe at this point um i think the it is not on the same earth that we have arrow and the flash but i think black lightning just based on uh, the group, the 100, they've been mentioned briefly on an episode of Supergirl. So I think Black Lightning is actually on the same Earth that Supergirl's on, which I can't remember what Earth that is in that whole CW Arrowverse world. But right now, he's totally uh, separate. He's in a city called Freeland, which is, I think, on the East Coast, where Supergirl's all the way on the West Coast. Uh on her show, which is cool because it gives the allows this show room to breathe and don't have to be weighed down by all the tie-ins and things that go on in the bigger CW verse. Now, will we see a connection at some point? Maybe so, but I like that they're keeping the show separate to allow itself to uh, establish establish itself the world and world build which is great and they've done a, a phenomenal job with that. Um, Jefferson Pierce character is um being done by Cress Williams. He's been a great supporting actor on a lot of different shows. I originally first saw Crest, Crest, I think way back in the 90s on um, Felicity, if I'm not mistaken, uh, which was a J.J. Abrams. I think it was really his first show that um, he was attached to in writing and producing. Um, think back on the WB, and he was like a supporting character there. And he's gone on and he's been on a ton of different shows and he's he's an amazing actor and it's good seeing him more in a starring role um outside of you know supporting uh supporting shows you've seen press like on living single there's tons of television shows over the past decade or two like he's been around in the business for a while but again he's always served as more of a supportive role and it's great because he's past due as a starting role and he's really embraced it and he's killing it right now as jefferson pearson as black lightning uh again i feel like this is one of the top cw shows it's had a strong uh first season so far i haven't heard anything of it being renewed for a second season hopefully it is i mean i know you know, I've been watching it. I know I got really good numbers and ratings to begin with. I haven't heard much about the show, like I said, since Black Panther hit all the kind of headlines for uh, African-American or black shows of kind of black anything has kind of shifted in the the this the the darling of the ball has been Black Panther. And like I said, unfortunately, the headlines have pulled away from this show and it's continued to go strong since its premiere. It premiered strong and it's just been building and building and building. And we're uh, like six or seven episodes in. Uh, again, I thoroughly enjoyed it and they're doing a great job building the world. They have a real good supporting cast around Chris. And again, it's, it's been a great watch. If you haven't had a chance to check it out, take a moment. Um, 
maybe over the weekend when you have some time and check it out. You can binge it. I can recommend this highly. Um, the CW app is free. You don't have to have a cable provider. So you can, if you have a Roku or if you have an Apple TV, all you have to do is download the CW app. Or if you do have cable, you can just go in the on demand. You can go back and binge uh, the episodes. Like I said, we are, I think it, um, it comes on Tuesday nights. I want to say we're seven episodes in or maybe eight. Um, I lost count. Um, but it's an easy binge like over the weekend and you'll really enjoy it. I can't recommend this show enough and I wish it would get more spotlight. Again, unfortunately, it's kind of faded into the distance, but the show hasn't stopped being good and being topical. And I feel like it's a really important show for anyone. It doesn't matter what your race, color, or creed, or creed is to check this show out as um, one of those shows that needs everyone's support so they will know that we're watching it and that they keep putting conscious shows like this on the television is very important so again um can't recommend it enough definitely if you have a moment check it out that's all i have for you guys for this episode um i'll see you guys again next time don't forget to like share and subscribe the episode if you're new to the comic book savant channel definitely if you like what you see here take a moment to subscribe also don't forget to click the bell notifications to let you know when the newest episode of uh is released to the channel and um that's all i have for you guys for this week i'll see you again next time for another video on Comic Book Savant. Take care and have a good week. I know you thought you reached the end of the video about the Black Lightning review, um, but before I had time to finish editing and posting the, the episode, we um, came upon the season finale. So this is reverted from just a few episode review until the full season of season one of Black Lightning. Um, pretty much all my thoughts that you saw earlier in the video remain the same. Um, I do have to say this, the one plot line that I felt like was out of place, they resolved it nicely and explained it. Um, the development storylines through all the characters supporting and main characters and even the villains um, reached a satisfying conclusion for this being the first season of a show and I felt like coming off the season finale they set it up very well going into season two which we've already heard all the CW shows have been uh, Arrowverse or Hero DC superhero shows have been renewed for uh, their next season so we're definitely getting a season two of Black Lightning and I can't be happier about that because it really ended with a bang if I had to give this um this first season of Black Lightning a rating, I definitely would say it's a 9 out of 10. It's worth checking out. So if you haven't had a chance to check it out um, and you were inspired or you really enjoyed um, like things like Black Panther, you're going to really enjoy this. It has the same social consciousness, um, really cool action, uh, nice soundtrack, um, just things that you've seen in other um black hero shows like they uh, i really think this show benefited from luke cage coming out though people have mixed feelings about that first season of luke cage um all the good things from that show with how music is integrated into the show the social consciousness of black panther and of this own show because it's kind of set in a different time all blended together extremely nice the people that are behind uh, running this show and producing the show have done a fabulous job to date and again I can't look forward to see where the show goes in future seasons um, my one hope or my one suggestion for CW is I have to say as much as I love the Arrowverse as a whole and it would kind of be cool to see this show uh, weave into it but it's based in a certain kind of reality that I don't think it fits in. I know I, I was reading something, or maybe I saw something on um, on social media where they were talking about you know how they would try to incorporate it in the large Arrowverse. I mean, the only connection I ever saw in the show is that the 100, which was the street gang that was being ran in Freeland, um, was used, or I saw mentioned in one of the episodes of Supergirl earlier in the season. Um, so, and I know Supergirl is on a different earth as the rest of the heroes. So I don't know what that really means if or how they can incorporate it 
we do know Supergirl's kind of like in California on the earth that she's on. And as far as how they describe and have displayed Freeland is pretty much um, the composite of uh, Atlanta. I do apologize for the noise, you know, real life situations, uh, but it's a composite for Atlanta, like I was saying. So um, I don't know how that would team up or how they would try to blend that. So it'll be definitely um, interesting to see. And they've dropped other references um, in the show during this first season about uh, Vixen. Um, I thought Vixen, as far as my understanding, was on the same earth as the um, Flash and Arrow, but the the name they dropped the name Vixen, which we know, is, you know, she's on Legends of Tomorrow, and she had her cartoon on the CW Seed, which I haven't I seen a, a clip of one, but I haven't watched them, and I know that new Constantine shows there, so I might need to watch it to see like where all this lines up. But again, my hopes personally is that they kind of keep. Um, Black Lightning separate. I kind of like the world they set up and I think it would get too superhero type. I, I kind of like the vibe they have going with the show and um, I think it it's, would work best as a standalone piece not weaving it in all, all the other, other stuff that they have going on with the rest of the CW universe. That's just my hopes at least for the time being till he's a little bit more established. And then if they do it down the road maybe but right now I want to I want to learn more about the world they set up in and around Black Lightning and the city of Freeland. Um, I want more exploration in that, and I feel like if they expand out, it'll take focus away from what they have going on there. Um, and I hope as well that they don't go full 22 um, episode season. That they keep it. I think this was 13 episodes total. Um, it kept the storytelling tight with not a lot of filler. And I appreciate that. So I hope, you know, in um, season two, that they keep it that many episodes as well. But again, highly recommend the show. If you haven't checked it out, you know, we're coming up. A lot of the shows are starting to hit their season finales and they're going to go off the air. So it'll be time during the summer that you can really catch up um, on this show. It's worth the investment and in taking the time. It's only 13 episodes. You can get through it, you know, easily through a weekend and it's, it's definitely worth checking out. But that's all I have for you guys at this time. I actually am ending the video right here. Don't forget, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Also, click the notification bell so you will be alerted each time I drop new content on the channel. Um, I'm your host, James Harris, and I'll see you next time on another episode of Comic Book Savant. Take care and happy watching.